how are you? I'm Mr. Amuso. Today we are revised and we are talking about European history. Our question for today is how valid is the view that the collapse of the Bourbons by 1830 it was predictable? Can we say that the collapse of the restored Bourbons in 1830 was it a predictable? So that is what we want to talk about today. So we are going to divide our question into two. We are talk going to talk about uh, how it was a predictable. Then we talk about on the other side. However, what are we going to talk about on the other side? That is what we are going to do at a day. So let's start by the first side. It was predictable. Let's start with Louis the 18th. Plus Louis the 18th. We see that in 1819, he dissolved the legislative assembly. When he dissolved the legislative assembly, he started to rule with the powers of veto. Ruling with powers of veto, it clearly showed that he had learned nothing and he forgot nothing. The downfall of the restored was predictable. What he was doing it's similar to what was done by Louis during the time of the French Revolution, leading to the collapse, the downfall of Louis. And here we see Louis uh, that he was going to last for a long period of time. Why? It was because of what he did in 1890, dissolving the legislative assembly. When he dissolved the legislative assembly, newspapers, they were now censored. Elections, they were swept aside, clearly showing that his downfall was a predictable. We move on. We talk about Blaso Charlie the 10th. He succeeded Louis in 1824 when he came in 1824. What he did clearly showed that his reign, it was not going to last for a long period of a time. What did he do when he came to power? He refused to rule with a charter. I would rather chop wood than to rule in an old-fashioned way of the King of England. That clearly shows that he was not going to last for a long period of time. Why? He was not saying that he was going to revive the outlook of the country, but he was saying he was going to be despotic, leading into the unpopularity of Blaso Chale. At the attend, he appointed ministers. You remember Matignek, you remember Polignek. Instead of ministers being elected by the people, he had to appoint them, clearly showing that the downfall of the restored Bourbons, it was a predictable. Not only that now, we also see uh, that when he came to power, what a Charlie at the tent here to censor the uh, newspapers. Newspapers, they were uh, censored. As they were censored now, we see that it clearly showed that his reign, it was not going to last for a long period of what uh, of time. Not only uh, that, we also see uh, that the system of justice, it was no longer fair and clearly showing that his reign, it was not going to last for a long uh, period of what uh, of our uh, time. You move on, you talk about what he did uh, socially. Socially, he had to appoint the Jews uh, into a uh, education again clearly showing that his reign was not going to last for a long a period of what uh, of time he did away with the career open to talent did away with the legion of honor clearly showing that his reign it was not going to last for a long a period of time economically taxes were introduced compensation was introduced the economy it was crippled why it is because industry and commerce we see that it was given to the ultras at the expense of other people in the country. So economically things started to deteriorate. Why? Because he had to put the ultras in front at the expense of the other classes in the society leading to the downfall of the restored bourbons. But however, let's look on the however side. We talk about the positive reforms that were introduced by Blaso Louis the 18th. When he came to power elections were done. When he came to power we see that everyone was free to associate with anyone when he came to power, newspapers were not censored. When he came to power, the economy that he inherited from Napo, it continued. When he came to power, we also see that education continued. Good relations with the church continued. Career open to talent continued. The Legion of Honor continued. So that on its own clearly showed that he was successful. The downfall was not all that predictable. So that is what we talk about on this question. Thank you so much, Mr. Buso.